So, I thought about yesterday's work, and I think I can do better. I tried to do some, like, kind of cross-hatching, um, and I don't think that really worked out. So then I ended up blending and doing kind of painty style, and that helped for sure. Uh, but we're gonna try again today, you know? That's what art feels like, trying again every time. Anyway, so the Monster Mania prompt for today is Oni, and the Concept Tober prompt. is uh, mage slash slash wizard. So uh, that sounds fun. I like both of those. That is why I'm combining these because I can get real creative and at the same time not creative and make some real fun interesting characters. I'll be- I'll admit, yesterday's uh, ghost slash Frankenstein bride, by the way. Uh, not super ghosty. I think I got, like, the feel of a ghost, but not, like, the... She wasn't a ghost, you know? Anyway. Oni. So, let's start off with a concept sketch, because, you know? Okay. Oni. And this is when I look for Oni references. So Oni are like Japanese demons, or the word for demons in Japanese. And they've got a certain look about them. Oftentimes. A certain look I don't know off the top of my head. Mage, wizard, Oni. Okay, so we're gonna try to avoid being warlock-like. But... I love a good robe situation. And then let's try and be kind of dynamic. Maybe it's too dynamic. Is that a realistic pose? What do they look like? Oh, nice. I feel like. They're semi-bald, but bushy eyebrows. Mm. I'm a grumpy boy. Do they have horns like that? They've got some kind of horns. Like a rip right here in his robe, where his horn sticks out. Oh, maybe they go on the head, and I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm probably an idiot, but I'm kind of liking the double horn look. Oh yeah, we're gonna try and go for a guy this time. Didn't last time. Still not good. Go figure. What does this look like? Child right now. What is this pose? What am I doing? Well, I'm not exactly thumbnailing it. This isn't correct. So I know this time I want to just lean into the darkness. That sounds weird. It doesn't sound weird. It just doesn't sound like what I want it to sound like. It just doesn't mean what I want it to mean. It just doesn't. That's not what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. I want uh, there to be prominent black and hard shadows and such like that. That's what I'm trying to say.
reference time. And it started. Okay, so I totally forgot that uh, those masks, the Japanese masks, are based on Oni. So now that I've looked at a reference or two, let's try again. Eh? Huh? How about that? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, first we're gonna actually thumbnail this time because... Because there was a time where I would have taken this sketch that I did, that isn't amazing, and I would have just followed it through. And you know what? That's just not always the best thing to do. Sometimes it works out, but not always. So anyway. Okay. Kind of like the idea of like really long hair to go with this guy. in like samurai's outfits and such. There's some in streetwear too. But what about like like a suit? Cause I love to draw suits even though I don't know how. Okay, well I know this is only the second idea but I like it, so now we're gonna try to draw this guy to pose. Although, you know what? I could work on the pose. I like him. This is kind of like a super, super, kind of like an Iron Man glowing type situation, even though he's not supposed to be flying. But I think we can do a better pose, even though I like this guy. Isn't he cute? So grumpy. Such a grumpy man. Oh yeah. That's cute. Okay. So let's see. So, originally when I heard these two combined, I was thinking kind of like Almost like a martial arty, martial arts type pose. But, uh. I don't think I can draw that. I don't think I can even thumbnail that. Like, what is this? This is not. This is not. Well, that looks kind of martial arts. It looks kind of monkey, but I guess that's the idea of monkey style. I mean, that's not the idea, but it's kind of the idea, you know? I'll be honest, this might be too hard, but if I got a reference, it wouldn't be. But do I want to get a reference, or do I just want to try a different pose? Do I love this idea? Not if he's in a suit. If I was doing flowing robes, maybe, because that's what I imagined in my head. I was still thinking of, like, a nice robe situation. Something like this, but more casual. 
like he's walking by. Maybe a pocket type thing. This looks like a non-expression, but still. I know I didn't draw it very well, but we're gonna go for this one. What do Adam's apples look like? Weird little lumps. Hmm. All right. That's not the right angle. Why is the second eye always harder? Why is the second eye always harder? It's not a great suit, but you can definitely tell it's a suit. I mean, how good does it have to be? I'll probably, uh, I'll just hide it a bit in some, uh, in the shadows, you know? I will say, I feel like I'm cheating on him being a mage again. I mean, I feel like I'm cheating on one of the prompts again. So I should add something a little more magey. It's mage like or wizard like robes, certain hats, orbs of power, wands! Wands. He needs a wand. That's what he needs. Where does this chest end? Well, he probably has a big chest, so... Probably not really an issue. Is he perhaps too wide? Can you really be too wide? <laughs> yeah. So glad I'm putting that impression on the internet. He's like... Like an Oni professor. Ooh. Have his hair come around here. Really want to show that nice dark ponytail. I do like a man with a long ponytail. Okay, this is gonna be perfect for those hard, dark colors that I want to do. Hopefully. Let's see how this goes this time. Oh, 
I love how in 90s shows around smart people, uh, when a character's trying to pretend to be smart and they say something stupid, I love how all the smart people act like it's not funny and awkward and weird. Because all the smart people I know would find that fucking hilarious. Okay, this time we're gonna try some real different shading. Hopefully this works. Wish me luck. Yes. No. Okay, so atmosphere will make the picture. So now we add a new marker. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Dixon. <laughs> 